one more in two days than the NCPD accomplished in weeks. Not hard to do, but yeah, you're right. Thanks, V. For everything. We'll find him, River. I don't know the sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for him. Fuck! This is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick.
got cables coming out of this wall. Should be a switch somewhere. Damn it, right behind you!
Shut down the machine. Can't unlink Randy otherwise. Randy! 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! Yeah, relaying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, dammit! No, oh, and watch for automated defenses on site. They're substantial. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. Been dead a few days already. to help. If you're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Me? Help me with Brandy! Live? Whoa, whoa, easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Me? Help me with Brandy! I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. What do you want to do? Zero him? Exactly. Squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Sick fuck has to die. Come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain-dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids, they're gonna need you now, more than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah, need a little time to myself now. But then I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. 
beyond twisted. Sure, be there soon. Fuck me, it is awesome! <laughs> so I hear. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Hey, Judy. Just a little more. How time. you feeling? Yeah, Shitty. yeah. You turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. Got to give yourself time to grieve, Judy. Experience all its stages. Feel them. Let them play out. Shock, anger, depression. I'd say I'm on anger. I'm gonna stay here for a while too. I can work with anger. So what did you come up with? The mocks dive, Lizzie's bar, used to be a joy house. Tiger Claws killed one girl too many, so people took matters into their own hands. Belongs to us now. Clouds could stand to get the same makeover. You sure you've thought this through, Judy? Carefully. <laughs> Haven't thought it through at all. All I know is the mocks didn't turn things around by sitting on their tanned and toned asses doing nothing. Got the Mox to agree to take over Clouds. No, I'm trying to get you. Know someone at Clouds will take our side. Will you help? Fine. Got me on board. Ooh, yes. Okay, so, what's the plan? First up, we gotta talk to Michael Maeda. 
If she's not with us, might as well throw our hands up in the air. Evelyn, Maiko... You seem to know your way around clouds. I used to work there. Helped them out with their behavioral chip, perfecting it. Why'd you leave? Didn't like the vibe. Place reeked of exploitation. Maiko Maeda. Who is she exactly? Girl who unofficially runs clouds. Good at it too. What's she do officially? She's a doll, so she's a nobody. You sure Maiko's gonna wanna join forces? If I was sure, I'd be on the hollow to her and we wouldn't be having this conversation. Let me rephrase. Is there any chance she'll slap us around and shove us out her mega tower window? Of course, sure. Guess I can work with that. How well do you know this Maiko? Too well. When are we doing this? Early morning. Clouds will be closed. Hardly a soul lurking at that time. How early? Before eight. I'll be by the entrance. No, scratch that. The balcony above clouds. We'll sneak in. No one needs to know we're there. On the balcony. Got it. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. 
One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft rock. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right. Blast those wrecks. Remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm. Well, wash out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
shot. Congratulations. It's time to talk. on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know, but I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay, okay. Well, I, many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place, quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Aldecaldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? All right with lemonade. Suit yourself. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. Really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro. Pan Am. I... V, relax. 
Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Uh, where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Long story. Got a job, fucked it up. Now, Silverhand's personality construct's sitting in my head. Bullshit. Yeah, well. He's not too happy about it either. Turns out we don't really mix. And it's getting worse. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Yeah, Took good care of your ride. You. She's over a there. Monster, not a machine. But you're not leaving us already, uh -huh. are you? Uh huh. Is everything okay? Yes. I drove it myself. Okay. So you made and yourselves at home already. You hit the road. We do have some Excellent. experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living! About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. 
I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch.
infantry. Try ours today. Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Care to be a bit more specific? Wouldn't mind knowing what to expect. Expect everything. Miss a beat, she'll wrap you around her finger. Get you on her agenda while thinking you're the one in control. Ooh. <laughs> Guess I know the type. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. It's like you've come this way before. More than once. <laughs> I have, on occasion. Easy as paella. Follow me. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great. to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. Consorting with a common thug. Yes, V. I mean you. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by Mark, you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Don't mind me. Just here to blend into the decor. That's no reason. Why come at all? To make sure Judy gets what she came for. Jude would have had a better chance without you. Judy has a proposal. About clouds. Wanna come back? Done. 
Always valued your skills, you know that. Just don't get why you had to drag this... loose end in here. Stop treating dolls like meat and I'll consider it. But first things first. Clouds needs to be taken from the Tiger Claws. Okay, look. It's clear what happened to Ev was... traumatic. Huh? I was convinced you didn't know. That girl was asking for an unhappy ending. I was just surprised it took so long. We gotta do something! Or everyone will end up like Evie! Woodman raped her while she was unconscious, then sold her like she was so much scrap. Yeesh, you've always been unstable. Okay, since you seem more reasonable, care to explain what this is about? Judy's idea. Think about it. It could work. Well, well, Jude. See, you found a true and loyal fan. You aware what Woodman did to Evelyn when she was desperate for help? You sit by, let that happen? Tiger Claw bosses rule this place. Know how much I mean to them? About as much as you two and your problems mean to me. Read negligible. Doesn't it make you wonder why you even work here? Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. And so you don't think I'm brushing you off completely, Forrest will be on the maintenance level in a couple minutes. That went smoothly. She totally blew us off. Don't worry. She put on an act. A few days down the line, she'll call and tell you her plan to take over Clouds as if it was her idea. You might be onto something. have a history way back yeah i think i just felt lonely like everyone in night city she was different then and so was i can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game the line between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal i know right there with you i well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. <sighs> Just think, could have gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding, not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head, working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and the deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now.
Wait a sec. What about Woodman? Sure he's gonna be there. You met Michael. If that prick still works here, it's cause he follows her orders pretty damn precisely. Well, what do you want to do? I want somebody to unload lead into his face till there is no face. Somebody? Fine. Want you to do it. Don't have an ounce of sympathy for that motherfucker. So, we going there? Damn straight. Let's end them. We'll take the elevator. Quickest way. Maintenance level. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Maiko? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. K-Town, Arasaka, more technologies, and dialogue. That went. Don't worry. If you. You two have a history? Way back, yeah. Like everyone. She was different. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Line between patting you on the back is their friend. I know. But still. <sighs> Just think. A little unwinding do you good. I wouldn't have been unwind. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai. No. Wait a sec. What about Woodman? You sure. You met Michael. Well, I want somebody. Fine. Don't have. So damn straight. We'll take. Make. You know what's worse than a corpo? A wannabe corpo bitch. You mean Michael? Piece of work, that one. But I'll give her credit. She's dead on about your chances of pulling this off. Virus chemicals failure and, in extreme cases, even death. In response to increased gang activity, the mayor's office has raised the public threat level to one. Residents of the Royal and Watson are advised not to leave their homes. Call me here. Evelyn's dead. Come here just to tell me that. 
It's fucking kind of you to remember. Here, go light a candle. When Evelyn needed help, you raped her. Could have also broken her neck. Hung up her head like a chandelier till it started to rot. <laughs> Instead, I took her to a ripper. Was due a little something in return. She should be grateful. And so should you. Hmm. Here's my token of gratitude. We have only heard something. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, V. the ground floor. Need to get out of this place. Satisfy your instincts. Almost felt like the world would be a better place once he died. And the feeling? It was so fucking strong. World did change, though. All the people he could have hurt. Yo, 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 they're all safe now. Mr. Whitey, he that Think of that. they will never even know they were in danger. to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. A minute there. Thought you were about to call it quits. V, I go for days tuning virtues in a basement. Know what the chances are of somebody blowing my head off down there? Minuscule? Same as Michael's empathy. Unlike you, I don't put myself out there. But this ain't over. Not yet. You know, I'm also partial to specifics. Uh-huh. So that's what matters. How many you'll drop, how much ammo you'll use, how many eddies it'll get you. Art and dreams of freedom can't be everyone's food. Sometimes, you gotta deal with the dirt. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks.
here, kitty kitty. What's the rush? Ever sharp and snazzy, Josh. Hello. You wanted to talk? Hello. You wanted to talk? I was saying something. Hello. You wanted to talk? Talk another time, Waco. As you like.
止めてんだろ Thanks. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, we're talking um, about the cornerstone of my platform. Exactly. I'm not doing a U-turn just because night corner. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. 
My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. SSI's pretty small time. Why didn't you go with Arisaka or Militech? It's what was recommended to us. On the bright side, we're not dependent on any mega corporations. Security looking at this. Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. Intruder take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V'll turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one.
This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him... here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Hm. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, Ma, this is where we sleep. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. <laughs> Blue roses. What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh. Of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scanner's showing something different. Wait, you mean here? Right here, it's closed. 
previous owner's leftover, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. Maybe it's worth checking their office downstairs. Doesn't look at any more. Security had to set up. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first. Looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true, Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, huh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away, but with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way.
Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. You're welcome to go up to the roof if you want. I'll wait here. Sure thing. Historic, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision of the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. The hell is all this for? Fuck if I know. But my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up. See these cables? Fresh fruit. Tasty by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. 
There's some weird chem stuff in here. Enhanced food. It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Discharge booster. Someone's been pulling all nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. Christ. I think we're safe putting your security at the top of our list of suspects. They violated our privacy. Sons of bitches. Under my own roof. Weird hardware. What's it for? Talking to yourself again? More and more. Ever since this terrorist started stalking me. Ever noticed anything out of the ordinary? Suspicious. That they're violating our trust? Watching our every move? That they'd concealed a goddamn secret room full of spy stuff in our own apartment? So you didn't notice. Okay. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This ends now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks set foot! Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do.
Transmitter's within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Hey, V. Frank here. Arasaka, remember? Hey, yeah, sure. Damn you, old bastard. It's been a while since... Listen to the whole message, please. Abernathy's purging the death. Anybody not 100% with her is out. I'm on her list. No idea why. You know how it is. No prisoners, no dismissals. Not about to sit around, wait for the executioner. I'm putting together a file to fuck up her life. Got all the documents in a... a hidey hole. If I don't manage to make use of them, you'll get this message. And the cords. I know you'll know what to do with them. Fuck. Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. 